What's up ladies and gents, you are watching Zixel. My name is Connor and today I am playing a game called Sir, You Are Being Hunted. Um, this game can also be called Madam, You Are Being Hunted. However, I am a Sir. I am, uh, I am of the male gender. So we will be playing Sir, You Are Being Hunted. Um, this is a game created by, I believe, Big Robot Limited. Yes. Um, I've had it on my Steam account now for quite a while, and uh, I've been waiting to record it because it looks like a lot of fun. It's uh, It's got elements of sort of uh, Call of Duty na Nazi zombies. Basically, the gist of this game is that there's these uh, parts of a machine scattered around the map, and we have to collect them and take them back to one place. But whilst we're doing this, there are these uh, really creepy looking English, uh, British, let's say, uh, robots who are constantly hunting you. Um, I feel very at home in this game. I am British myself. And, um, you know, looking at the screen right now, I thought some of these houses in the background there, I thought that was my house. I was. I was so confused, this game is so convincing already. Anyway, let's begin. Um, let's start a new game here. Uh, yeah, start a new game. Ooh. Okay, you can choose from several different professions. Each one starts with different equipment. Click the button below to select your role. Um, the honorable choice, good show. Uh, rags for bandages. Uh, what about the, ooh, wow. Um, the gamekeeper. The inventor, the officer. You know what? I think I'm going to uh, think I'm going to choose the officer here. I'm more of a uh, combat sort of person. I don't really, uh, I don't really do stealth that much. We'll keep all this uh, as it is. This is basically uh, the terrain we get to create. Well, the terrain that's generated for the game. Anyway, let's uh, hit build, and um, away we go. I've heard that this game takes quite a while to sort of generate the terrain initially, so uh, we will we will wait and see. Damn, they weren't kidding when they said this game takes a while to sort of uh, initially set up. Jeez. So, okay. If you can hear this, then the experiment has gone terribly wrong. Oh, bugger. I fear you may be trapped on the archipelago, but don't panic. The standing stones should be nearby. Okay. With them and some luck, you may still be able to escape. Listen very carefully. I'm listening. And you might just survive. Okay, right. I'm afraid pieces of the device are now scattered across the islands. Oh. They became quite hot during the experiment. Steamy. So perhaps you could look for the smoke. Bring any you find back to the standing stones. Then we should be able to get you home. I'm dreadfully sorry, sir, but this does mean postponing dinner preparation. Oh, bloody hell. I do hope you remember to eat something. You must try to keep your strength up. Perhaps some tea and biscuits from one of the nearby houses? Splendid. The residents won't mind because they're... Well, they're not at home. Oh, and do be careful, sir. You're being hunted. All right. Well, um... What an intro. That was, uh, that was quite beautiful. Loading Center Island. All right. Handy survival guide. Hiding. Run! Use long grass to hide your position. Robots. Oh. Okay. Well, I uh, I wasn't reading that anyway. That's that's completely fine. Right. Well, um, I have looked into this game quite a while ago actually now, and um, I believe it's had quite a lot of updates since. So I'm not too sure what to expect here. So um, we got a bunch of help topics here. Let me just. Uh, what are the controls here? C for crouch. Okay, I see. Uh, that's a toggle switch. In. Examine this with the F key. All right, so it's like Bioshock. Uh, looting an enemy. Uh, sure, whatever. All right, so this is our inventory here on the right, and this is what the enemy has. So he's got some binoculars. That's uh, wow, very useful. 
Now you can observe your pursuers while keeping a safe distance. Oh, lovely. Uh, Christmas pudding. That is always very nice to have, seeing as though it is near to Christmas as well. A canned pie. Oh, fantastic. Mince pies. There's a lot of Christmassy, uh, Christmassy themed food here. So, an alarm clock. I'm not sure. That would only be, uh, that would only be a bundle of problems, let's say. An empty bottle. I don't think that would be, uh, much use. Okay, right, so... Uh, this is uh, what looks to be a dead robot, so we've got to look out for things like that. The ones we see are going to be walking about. Um, they will also probably have guns as well. Do I actually have a gun? Uh, inventory? I do have a gun. How do I uh, equip this? Uh, equip in slot one. Okay. Gun. Ah! Oh yes, look at this. Right, uh, examine this with the F key. All right, so this looks like it's going to be part of the machine. Excellent. You've found one. Yes. Return that fragment to the standing stones and leave it there. All right. You'll be one step closer to home. Okay. So, um, what we can now do? This is the standing stone. So it looks like we. Um, we pop this there. Ooh, a few more of those. Yes. And we can activate the device. There we go. Okay, let's save our progress. What is this? Patriotic crockery. Okay. Everyone loves a, a plate with the Queen's face on it. Uh, the Robot Queen, of course. This is a, uh, a robot game. Oh, shit! I've seen those before. Okay, these are like... Um, there's robots operating those balloons. Okay. And um, they're, they're going to be looking out for me. And if it sees us, an alarm will go off. And uh, that would be bad. It would alert all the robots to come and get us. So, basically, what we want to do is look out for these um, these smoke trails, I believe they are. Is that one here? Or is this a campfire? Oh, no, we found one. Right, we've got to be very careful. So... Let's pop that there, and take it back to the uh, the standing stone. Oh, crap. Crop? Crap! we got to be careful. Very careful. He's getting quite near, which isn't very good. Oh, God. There's a building here. Um, I believe to loot buildings, all we have to do is... Uh, Go to the back door, yep. It looks like there's something useful in there. White mushrooms. Oh, and if you find anything edible, Dead rat. don't look at it too closely. I, I don't think there's anything useful there, actually. It was just a bunch of boots and dead rats. So, let's have a look in here. Ooh, uh, oh, that's my inventory. A, a small stone. I've heard these are useful, so we'll keep this. Um, Mouldy bread! Mmm! Uh, more moldy bread, fantastic. Um, exotic spices, I don't think so. Um, and a bunch of dead rats and uh, spuds. Okay, right. Well, um, ooh, there's crows. Ooh, okay. Well, um, from what I remember, we can tell a robot is nearby because we can hear it. He's, he uh, makes like robot sounds. Which, um, ah, rags. Apparently, we use these if we're bleeding. So, that would be very useful in the event we get shot by a robot. Okay, we, oh, we've got to watch out for that balloon. Because the second we walk into that... Oh, more crockery. Um, a rugged torch. Hmm. Well, I'm not one for picking up dead animals. So I'm not going to be uh, taking these rats. They don't seem very useful. Um, all I'm really looking out for is uh, edible food and guns. Both of which we need. Uh, ah, more moldy bread. Apparently that's edible. From what I remember as well. Um, there's the balloon. Right. Uh, mm hmm. Jim was here. Yes. Right. 
Are there, are there robots over here? I'm not sure if more robots come out at night as well. <gasps> oh shit. Oh my god. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god. Right, so. Um, as I was saying in the intro, this is a very stealthy game. Um, not ideal for myself. I'm not a stealthy person, as I said. I, I prefer to just go in there and shoot the hell out of everything. Oh god, we need to get back to the standing stones, actually. Uh, which way would they be? In that direction? In that direction? I think it's this direction. There's something on the radar telling us to go this way. So... Uh, we'll we'll go over there. Have a look. What's what's up? And um, we'll see where we go from there. Okay. Apparently, as well, we can hide in these bushes. And uh, if we look to the bottom left, there is our visibility meter. Um, as we can see right now, my visibility is like. Uh, it's at a, a medium level. Now I am completely invisible, apparently. No, nothing can see me. Um, of course, if I'm jumping or if I make a lot of movement, I'm very visible. So that's something else we got to watch out for. God, there's a, there's a lot of it. Go away, Gareth. I, I, I do not want to see you playing Just Cause 2. I'm recording a video, damn it. I should have gone offline, actually, thinking about it. Oh, well. Right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm, I'm really not looking forward to any robotic encounters we have. Um, can I reload the gun? Is reload the R button? Maybe it is. I haven't shot any rounds yet, so uh, I'm not too sure. Right, let's, uh, let's make a runner. As, as we can see, when I run, my visibility is really high. So, uh, there we go. A few more of those, and we can activate the device. Nice. Okay, how many do we actually need? It's probably a lot. Oh, Christ. What was that? Something was running over there. I'm not a fan of that. Um, we'll flip an L. Hello? Robots? Domo Origato, Mr. Roboto. What are these things here? I do remember seeing these, but I I never figured out what they did. I hope they don't like attack us or anything. Oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> um. Oh no, wrong button. Let's uh, let's crouch. Oh my god! Oh god, we're we're right close. Oh shit, has he seen us? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god. Right, rags. Bread. Um. Mints, lovely. Oh god, that sound. Oh shit! Okay, we're gonna hide around this corner. If he comes near, we shoot. Oh my god. I'm not sure how many there are. Oh god! Okay, let's not go that way. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go somewhere else. Um. Oh god. I'm just gonna stay crouched. Because, um, yeah, I, I do not want to have bullets in my face today. I was not planning on this. Um, Jesus. Oh, he's seen me. I got him. Oh, 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 reload. 